Good morning. Um, I'm Carolyn Merriman. We're going to start with um, the peripheral vascular. It would be a good idea um, for you to go ahead and get your lab manual out so that you can follow along with us. And also in your course packet, you have detailed uh, um, segments on the peripheral vascular, thorax and lungs and heart and neck. So what I want to do is show you what an exam would look like and also I would like to then tell you the specifics that you're going to need just for the CCE final performance exam. Hello, um, my name is Carolyn Merriman and I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you please tell me your full name? Lita Jones. Okay, Ms. Jones. Um, well, I've washed my hands, and what I'd like to do is check your armband. Okay, Miss Lita Jones. And can you also tell me your birth date? 4 1967. Thank you very much. Well, today, Ms. Jones, what I'd like to do is do a peripheral vascular exam, which what that means is I'm just checking your circulation. So, what I'd like to do first is take your blood pressure. Okay. This is the electronic blood pressure. I'm palpating for the brachial artery. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right, it's going to squeeze your arm. All right, that should be done good. And so your blood pressure was 120 over 80. Thank you very much. All right, next, Miss Jones, what I want to do is just look at um, you're basically, I'm looking at your skin color to make sure your skin color is okay. But what I want to do is just check your radial pulses, which is right by your thumb. So I'm palpating your radial pulses at the same time and comparing them for um, equality. And, and so I can feel them and they feel equal and I would rate them about a two plus. Um, okay, and now what I'd like to do is look at your fingers. And what I'm doing is I'm going to squeeze your fingernail for capillary refill. I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay, that's excellent. Now what I'd like to do, uh, Ms. Jones, is do the same thing down at your feet. So I'm going to uncover your foot here for a second, and I'm going to take off your socks. And what I need to do is check your pedal pulses. Those are pulses that are on top of your feet. And so at the same time, I'm going to be palpating for the pedal pulses. Again, they're equal, about two plus. I'm going to just briefly check the big toe for capillary refill. Looks like it was fast and it was less than two seconds. So you press and then you look that it's, it's come back very quickly. While I have you down here on this part, I want to just raise the blanket up just a little bit so I can check for edema, so pretibula edema. So what I'm going to do is press for five seconds, two, three, four, five, run my hand down over to see if there's any indentation and there's not. So you do not have any pretibula edema and that's what I will record. So this concludes the um, assessment for, for your circulation. I'll help you get your socks back on and get you covered back up. Do you have any questions? No. Thank you very much. So I've already checked my client's pedal pulses, but if they were not two plus, if they were weak like one plus, then I could use the Doppler. So to use the Doppler, which is this machine, there's different kinds, then you would have to use this gel. What you would do is palpate where you either think the, the pedal pulse should be, but you can squeeze a little bit of this gel. I'm not going to put it on this mannequin, but squeeze a little bit of the gel, and then you would turn on the machine, and you can hear it, and then you would take this part and put it over the Doppler area and hold it steady and you should be able to hear a pulsation unless the person had a complete um, blockage in their artery you should be able to then pick up um, what it was and so at this point of course this is a mannequin but I should be hearing a, a faint pulse at this point point. Um, and then you just turn it off and then don't forget to wipe off the gel so during lab, you can also have an opportunity to practice with the Doppler. In addition to all the things for peripheral vascular that we discussed, I would also want to not only check the person's color, but go ahead and make sure that the temperature of the person is 
adequate as well that the person is warm instead of cold because cold extremities would be a sign of arterial obstruction as well. So I showed you today what is a peripheral vascular exam. What I also wanted to point out were the skills that you'll be incorporating into the final performance exam. So of all the things that we did, you will be doing a blood pressure, um, an electronic blood pressure, and be sure that when you document, you say which arm you used and what position the client was in, which is um, at this point um, sitting or supine would be fine. You are also going to be doing the radial and the pedal pulses and you're going to be rating those on a four-point scale. You're also going to be checking for capillary refill, at least in the fingertips. The, if you do it in the toes, that's just a bonus, and you're going to be determining if it, the, the capillary refill was less than three seconds. Um, you will also be checking for pretibial edema with a pressing on the tibia in both places simultaneously and for five seconds, and then you will be saying if there was any edema. With no edema, it would be a rating of zero, and then you've got a scale also on a four-point uh, a, a, a four scale of what kind of edema that the person has. So this concludes the peripheral vascular assessment. Thank you. Mm -hmm.